Hi guys, Heather Ballantyne here. Today I'm going to walk you through what your salesperson should have told you when you took delivery of your STO. I'm Heather Ballantyne, sales specialist and entrepreneur. Follow me and enjoy the ride. guys so it's a very exciting day you're taking delivery of your STO there's some really important things you should know but let's take this in just for a second and I want to remind you the famous quote that Frank Sinatra said you buy a Ferrari when you want to be someone you buy a Lamborghini when you are someone and this is definitely a presence if you own one of these you're definitely someone so let's talk about the updates on the STO. So right away you're going to notice the front splitter and everything that you see has a function. So this amazing design you're going to see here, the air intakes, all of this design has function. And one of the cool things that you should know about STO is it has 53% more downforce than the Performante. So I can't wait to get these on the track. Now if we walk to the back, you're going to see even more air intake. And here even, you're going to see all sorts of functional design. This wing is incredible and you'll see this big slot here. So this is also to increase downforce. Now something cool to know is you can adjust the setting here. So there's three different settings for this wing. Right now you'll see it's on medio, the medium setting. So depending on what kind of track you're on, you have the option to change the setting of this wing. Now keep in mind, it's going to change the way it drives. So if you're on a really twisty, lots of turns sort of track, you're gonna wanna go with the high setting. But if you're on a very straight, fast track, you're gonna go with the low. And the medium is pretty self-explanatory, so that's why they keep it set at initial delivery on the medium setting. So one thing I wanna point out is this amazing shark fin. And we talk about downforce a lot when we're showcasing cars for the track, but something we don't mention a lot is lateral force. And that is actually the purpose of this amazing wing. So all of this design for the STO actually has a function. Now, this bonnet reminds me of when I delivered the Centenario Roadster, but they have a new locking system. So you're gonna see on either side, and I would suggest having a second person when you remove it. You're gonna need to unlock it, and then you'll need assistance removing it. It's very light, but you definitely don't wanna damage it. And something to note is, if you're having your STO detailed, make sure no one sprays in here. You know, we don't want any water being sprayed into your STO. In fact, they sent a memo out to all the Lamborghini dealers in the service department that STOs should only be hand washed. So if you have a detailer, please make sure you pass that on to your detailer. No spray guns, none of that going into any of the intakes. We just want to be hand washing the STOs. So let's also take a look at the front bonnet again. You're going to see these special locks again here. And it's really important when you open this that you don't just let it drop because you can damage this carbon fiber splitter. It's a beautiful splitter. So you have to be very careful when you unlock either side to just slowly open it. Now I'm going to demonstrate it for you and there's a locking mechanism to keep you from opening it too far. So one thing I want to point out before we open trunk and the engine bonnet 
is just this amazing stealth spec. I know in my last video, we had the golf inspired design. It was very loud, lots of livery and stripes going on. But this client chose to do something extremely different, very stealth, it's like a weapon. So the cool thing with STO is you can do whatever you want as far as the spec. You can keep it very under the radar or very out there. It's really up to you how you wanna customize it. Okay, let's take a look at where you can find these special keys to open the trunk and engine bonnet. All right guys, so you're gonna have to come in close. Just down here where we would normally have the buttons for the trunk release and the engine bonnet, instead of a release button, we actually have a plastic key. So it's got this flap underneath it. You just kind of have to yank it out. It takes a little bit of elbow grease to get it out. And then we're gonna go to those locks and literally unlock them. So you're gonna see that it fits inside. And if you turn it left, it's gonna unlock, and right, it's gonna lock. And then I'm gonna walk over to the other side. And right now it's locked. I'm gonna insert the key and turn it. And you'll see now that it's moved to unlock. So you need to make sure that both sides are unlocked. And then once you have them there, you're gonna press in the center to release it. Okay. So now we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you how to open it properly without damaging the carbon fiber. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to open this. You're going to lift very gently and, and gently lower it until you get it locked in. And then you're safe. You just don't want it to go any further forward than that because you could damage the carbon fiber. Okay, so it's very important that you don't just fling it open and go further than this would allow. Once it's open, you're gonna see this is your trunk space. So you're not going shopping in the STO. You're actually hopefully gonna be hitting the track. And this is where your helmet would sit. Now, if we look inside here, you're also going to see your center lock. So you'll have this that comes with the car and that's how you're gonna unlock your wheels should you ever need to. And then this space is for your helmet, like I said. So um, it's definitely not a car that you're driving to go away for the weekend. Or if you are, you need to buy clothes when you get there. Okay, so while this is open, guys, it's a really good opportunity to see all of the carbon fiber. So just so you know, 75% of the panels on this car are carbon fiber. So it's very lightweight, extremely lightweight. And that, again, is a reason that you want to hand wash this car, like I was talking about earlier. You want to be very careful. It's very delicate. And uh, you want to be sure that someone's not spraying or using heavy chemicals, and they're going to harm the carbon fiber. Quickly, before we close the trunk, I just want to point out where you would top off your windshield washer fluid. So in case you need to do that, it's right here. And other than that, you're good to go. Let's close this and move to the engine bonnet. Okay guys, so we are going to attempt to take this off. You're gonna see the key again. You would twist to unlock. And you'll see the indicator there showing that it's actually unlocked. And you need to make sure you do that on both sides. So guys, I've lifted the engine bonnet. I've already unlocked it, pressed the button and lifted. And you're gonna see this and this. You might have to slightly move this back to release it. Then I recommend having two people lift it. It's gonna have a little bit of a latch at the bottom that you have to lift out and up. So boys, can you help me? Okay, careful. You got it? All right guys, so I had some help and I would highly recommend you having help if you decide to do that. But now you can see the beautiful naturally aspirated V10. And it's a bit of work to see it, but once you do, it's incredible. Again, if you're not familiar with STO, 640 horsepower, zero to 100 is three seconds. And this is inspired by Super Trofeo. So like I said before, with the increased downforce and all of this aerodynamic design, I can't wait to try it out on the track. Okay guys, so you're gonna see this little latch here. This is gonna hook in, so we're gonna film that as best we can so you can see how to properly install it.
So guys, when you're putting the bonnet back on, you're gonna see that the driver's side is actually fixed. So this one has to be in position first. And then let's go around to the passenger side. So earlier I showed you there is some flex here. So you can always push that back and then you drop it down. All right, guys, let's take a look inside. There's a few features that I wanna point out, starting with the door. So you're gonna notice here all of this beautiful carbon fiber and the new door pull. So everything on this car is very lightweight. They've used all lightweight materials and that's why the handles are like this, but they're also very stylish. Let's have a seat and talk about the driving modes. Okay guys, so we're in the cabin and I just wanna point out three things in this video. You're gonna see with the HMI system, there's a new telemetry, it's very cool, and it's integrated with your Unica app on your phone. There's also a BTM, which is gonna monitor the cooling of your brakes. So if you're really into tracking your car, you're gonna love that feature. And most importantly with STO, we have three new driving modes, which I'm gonna talk about in a few minutes. But before we get to that, let's just take in this cabin. You're gonna notice again that they've used tons of lightweight materials. And that is one of the reasons that Alcantara is used rather than leather. You'll see everything is lightweight, a lot of carbon fiber, it's beautiful. And even Alcantara's steering wheel. So these are all things that you can customize though. So if you don't like this much black, for instance, if you go into Ad Personum, you can create your own fully custom interior as well as exterior. So lots of customization available for you with the STO. But now that you have one, let's talk about the changes in this HMI system and also these three modes. So you're gonna see here on the screen a few updates. One in particular is telemetry. So if you go into telemetry, it's pretty cool. You can click the track, you can enter the track name and then save it to reference later. So you can study what you did right, what you did wrong. And a really cool thing now is your Unica app on your phone connects to this and you can access all of this information on your phone as well. So it's a really cool thing that STO offers. I'm gonna go back out. Otherwise, if you reference my HMI video on YouTube, I have a full video on this system. So if you have questions about that, please check that out where I go in depth about all of these features that are offered. Now, something really important that I wanna talk about while we're here is the three new driving modes. So you'll see STO is lit up right now, and that would be your road mode. So anytime you're just daily driving, you're out and about, this is the perfect mode for you. Now, if you move down to Trofeo, this is your track mode for dry performance. So it's really cool because they've given you the option of a dry track mode or this one, which is your wet track mode, and it's called Piaggia. So that would be for rain, you know, anytime you're on the track that it's wet. Trofeo would be the dry performance driving mode and STO is gonna be your daily driving mode. So just so you know, that is what those stand for. Okay, and one last thing I wanna point out that is different is this vehicle, if you go underneath vehicle and you hit LDVI, it's gonna take you here and they have this cool thing called BTM where you can keep track of the brakes so it's very in-depth for those of you who love to track your car and the nerds out there that really enjoy this stuff. You're going to love all of these new features with the LDVI system. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad I could share the STO with you in detail. And as always, if you'd like to know more about the Lamborghini brand, be sure to make an appointment with me at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto in Vaughan. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I can't wait to have you along for the journey.